it going everybody expat stacker coming to you with a discussion topic video um, about an article on Yahoo Finance called the golden asteroid that could make everyone on earth a billionaire um, this article came out last summer 2019 um, and this article was brought to my attention by a friend of mine who I've been talking about uh, precious metals with he's thinking about getting into it um, he's got some you know investments stock market real estate he's a lawyer he's pretty financially um, you know doing pretty well for himself so he's been thinking about gold and we've been talking about it and um, trying to he's trying to understand it as an asset class and um, he sent me this article and he said hey I'm kind of scared I'm kind of skeptical because of this you know so um, let's just go ahead and read through this article um, and you know I'll share my thoughts on it because um, it is a real thing um, but you know how much do am I going to consider this uh, well I'll tell you after read through the article so jumping right into it uh, whether it was the Big Bang Midas or God himself we don't really need to unlock the mystery of the origins of gold when we've already identified an asteroid worth 700 quintillion dollars in precious heavy metals if anything launches this metals mining space race it will be this asteroid Psych 16 taking up residence between Mars and Jupiter and carrying around enough heavy metals to net every single person on the planet close to a trillion dollars um, by the way two things here first of all between Mars and Jupiter that's the asteroid belt so there's a lot of asteroids there second psych 16 I think is kind of a funny name psych <laughs> like like kind of like fake you know like a joke so I think that's kind of funny but anyway continuing on the massive quantities of gold iron and nickel contained in this asteroid are mind-blowing the discovery has been made now it's a question of proving it up NASA plans to do just that beginning in 2022 of course says veteran miner Scott Moore CEO of Eurosun mining the Titans of gold now control hundreds of the best producing properties around the world but the four to five million ounces of gold they bring to the market every year pales in comparison to the conquests available in space in the decades to come if you want to be a gold titan you'll have to get your feet off the ground the real titans will be far from earth more should know he heads up a junior mining company that is seeking a seat at the ta at the titan table with the biggest in development gold mine in europe the 21st century gold rush can we actually extract this space gold that is the quintillion dollar question certainly speaking to outer places professor John Zarnecki president of the Royal Astronomical Society estimates that it would take around 25 years to get proof of concept so a plan that you know actually is viable and could work and 50 years to start commercial production of course it all depends on two key things economic feasibility and our advancement of space technology and then we're not alone either there are other world powers who would like to get their hands on that asteroid as well China definitively plans to dominate this race Mitch Hunter Scullion founder of the UK based asteroid mining company tells the BBC that this is definitively the next industry boom once you set up the infrastructure then the possibilities are almost infinite he said there's an astronomical amount of money to be made by those bold enough to rise to the challenge of the asteroid rush Euro mines Euro Suns more agrees what we're doing on the ground now may be impressive but like everything else even gold exploration in space is only a matter of infrastructure we'll get to it eventually but it's not just about the quintin quintillion dollar prospects of the asteroid belt which is 750 million kilometers from earth this may be the holy grail of space exploration for gold but it won't be the first stop on this adventure Moore says there are also near-earth asteroids 
which pass close to Earth and could be pushed into an orbit from which water and other elements could be extracted. Then there's the moon, which holds resources from gold and platinum, group metals to helium-3, water, and rare earth metals. Even though mining operations require gravity and the moon's is only one-sixth of the Earth's, scientists say there's enough gravity to make it work. The global asteroid mining market. Yes, there is already a global market for asteroid mining, and Allied Market Research estimates that it will top $3.8 billion in 2025. 3.8 3.8 billion might sound like a lot, guys, but it's really not that much for a market segment. Um, so just continuing on. They're, they're counting ongoing and future space missions, the rise and in inflow of investments in space mining technologies, and the growing use of print materials uh, obtained from asteroids in 3D printing technology. According to Allied, While the spacecraft design segment of this market accounted for four-fifths of total revenue in 2017 and is expected to continue to dominate through 2025, the big change here will be in the space mining segment or the operations segment. That segment is expected to grow at a CAGR of over 29% by 2025 due to a surge in investment by public and private stakeholders in space mining technologies for resource exploration. You can't just think of space mining as something that will suddenly happen in 25 or 50 years, says Zero Suns Moore. It's already happening from an investment perspective. And the asteroid belt is just one aspect of this market. The entire global space market is worth hundreds of billions already. Indeed, Morgan Stanley estimates that global space economy to be worth $350 billion today. By 2040, it will be worth a cosmic $2.7 trillion. Nor is the Psyche 16 asteroid the only thing of interest in the belt. Another small asteroid measuring 200 meters in length could be worth $30 billion in platinum. Who will get there first? China has vowed to dominate this race, and there's an easier, uh, and that's an easier game for a country that controls all the major natural resource companies and maintains a tight leash on tech developers. That's not to say that the U.S. doesn't have ambitions here. The difference, though, is stark. While NASA is focused on space exploration and scientific missions, China is focused on space-based economy that is zeroing in on long-term wealth generation. Um, I don't know how much I agree with that um, characterization. There are no facts to back up this statement, and just the basic facts that I know about would suggest that this isn't true. Um, China's space agency uh, does a lots of scientific uh, exploration and science missions as well. They uh, participate in the International Space Station, so I really don't know how much I really agree with this um, little paragraph here. Uh, but anyway, nevertheless, even Europe, where Eurosun is developing a major gold mine in Romania, has its hand in the game. In January, the European Space Agency announced a deal with Ariane Group, the parent company of Ariane Space, to study a prep mission to the moon in 2025. It's got natural resources on its mind. Even tiny Luxembourg has 10 space mining companies registered since 2016, with some targeting space ventures to the moon and others eyeing near-Earth asteroids for mining. Tokyo-based iSpace, for instance, is a private space exploration company that plans to complete lunar orbit in 2020 and a soft landing in 2021. For more, the prospect is daunting even if it is the clear future reality because mining in Eurosun's Rovina Valley project in West Central Romania has been a cakewalk, both in terms of geology and infrastructure. Everything lines up for a large, low-cost project, the biggest in-development gold mine in Europe. That won't be the case in space, but it's a big bill that governments will want to help foot or risk losing their place in space. Whoever gets there first will become the new god of gold, and the competition is heating up. A few companies that could vie for a spot in the space race are majors like, and then they go ahead and give some 
you know stock tickers and little names of companies here and um, their their little profiles and stuff and then there's just some uh disclaimer about the author um just so they can't be accused of any conflicts of interest so what's my thoughts on this guys um first of all uh there's a lot of stuff in space and you know when it all boils down to it at the end of the day in this article they're saying that they're gonna st they're planning to start planning in the next you know few years you know like in the beginning of the article nasa plans to do just that which is pro providing a, a, a plan that they think is feasible starting in 2022 so as of now it's still two years away for them to start planning this um you know and so i mean I, I really do think that this is at least one or two generations away where it's going to really start becoming a reality it does present an interesting um you know investment opportunity now if you they're, they're saying that there's some you know there's a market for this already that you can start investing in it i do think that's interesting um but i don't think that this represents like a major threat to gold or anything like that um because uh, it's still a very long time away and um, there are a lot of points that are not really addressed in this article um, there are some good points uh, like the need for gravity for mining um, and if we were to go to the asteroid belt and mine this asteroid that has 700 quintillion dollars in precious heavy metals uh, uh, precious metals um, then uh, what about other asteroids that that hit that asteroid and what would that do to the mining equipment and how much could they mine before they would need to get back to earth and how long would it take for you know the miners or mining equipment to get all the way out there mine and then get back and it, it's going to be very very expensive um so in order to make it you know work you know they're they're gonna have to charge uh a hefty premium on space gold you know um so the other thing is that supplies here on earth are dwindling so even if they get this outer space gold from the moon or some asteroids nearby earth or psych 16 um it, it's still going to be very expensive and it's going to be helping to replace some of the dwindling supply here on earth so um you know i did a, a video about that uh i mean i touched on that topic in my um, 2020 uh, stacking goals video um, about like the the state of the mining industry so I think that you know this doesn't really pose a major risk to um, gold or stacking precious metals they still have a long way to go they're not even started with planning um, and if anything I think that you know they if they do this it might attract a lot more investors into gold um because everybody would want to get in and guess what that's going to do that's going to drive up the demand drive up the spot price so even if there's this huge supply out there it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to make you know gold less valuable in fact it could make it more valuable and because of the dwindling supply here on earth at least it might help to start replace some of those uh, supplies so I've seen other articles from Yahoo Finance that touch on this, where they talk about gold going to zero and stuff because because of this. But I I don't, I don't agree with that. Um, they're so far away from this. You know, in here it says that uh, there's an existing market and you know it's already happening from an investment standpoint. Uh, that's been true of a lot of industries and a lot of products and services and things which flopped. You know. Uh, really high investors you know one that you may have heard if you pay attention to financial news uh, from last year is uh, we work you know that had a lot of investors and what happened with that you know so we, we can see that you know just because there's a lot of buzz about this and it has a lot of potential and there's people who are investing and companies are getting registered a lot of this stuff is based around the concept of FOMO fear of missing out so I'm not saying it's not real uh, I do believe that human beings will uh, explore space and probably mine elements from space. Um, but I don't think this represents any kind of threat to um, us stackers or the gold, silver,
platinum, palladium, precious metals markets here on earth. And um, very, it's very interesting and definitely worth paying attention to, but I don't think this is a reason at all to be worried. Uh, if anything, um, it, it poses a, you know, an, an, a unique, uh, interesting opportunity for investment. And, you know, it could uh, be a huge stimulus to uh, the gold market. So anyways, guys, that's my thoughts. I uh, would love to hear what you guys think about this um, kind of unique uh, article and um, yeah, so go ahead and leave your comments down in the comment section. Um, and this is the expat stacker. I'll catch you on the flip side.